Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Los negocios de nuestra región. Innovación, transformación, momento. Mejorando nuestras comunidades y trayendo tecnologías que moldearán nuestra región por generaciones. La colaboración que traerá vitalidad, prosperidad y una mejor vida para vivir. Quédese con nosotros durante la próxima media hora y examinaremos profundo los negocios de nuestra región. Ahora nuestro presentador, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, we're boarding Pittsburgh's lost steamboat to explore treasures buried underground for more than a century. And we're celebrating another historic event, the restoration of Mellon Square, one of the keystone projects of Pittsburgh's Renaissance One. But first, we're getting ready to party, later today in fact. El Gran Combo, billed as the Rolling Stones of Salsa, makes its Pittsburgh debut this afternoon at Jazz Live International, presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. So, so why is this the top story in our region's business? Well, because it's also the launch of a regional effort to put Pittsburgh on the map of Latinos considering relocating in the United States. It's called Ola Pittsburgh and the year-long effort is just one example of what Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto is hoping will create a more welcoming Pittsburgh. And uh, Mayor Peduto is back with us today. And so is Ron Alvarado, chairman of the Pittsburgh Metropolitan Area Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, uh, which is chairing the Ola Pittsburgh Initiative. And welcome. Good to see you both. Thank you. Morning. Yeah, Mayor, you really put this uh, on the radar screen a, a few weeks ago with the launch of Welcoming Pittsburgh. We can talk a little bit about what that's about, but why? Why is this suddenly so important to our region? Because our economy is dependent upon it. Um, the same way that Pittsburgh built America, uh, it was the immigrants who came, like my grandfather, who built Pittsburgh. And they worked and they toiled in the mills and in the mines and they used their arms and their shoulders and their backs to build out an entirely new country. Well now Pittsburgh is at a new phase and what we're looking for is the best talent in the world. Maybe not necessarily to use their arms and their, and their backs but to use their minds and to build out our economy and to help to get two tracks of development occurring. That which we're already seeing at the higher level, higher pay and that at the lower level, at the lower skill to help to rebuild our neighborhoods, the entrepreneurs that come over, because those that are risking to leave their country already have that entrepreneurial spirit yeah. in them. That makes sense, and, and so Welcoming Pittsburgh then becomes an initiative to sort of raise awareness of this effort? Is Welcoming Pittsburgh is part of a national initiative of creating cities and counties that are uh, more open to the ideas of uh, the new generation and of new people coming to join them. Our, our initiative isn't to create a new level of government, in fact it's the opposite. What we want to do is find all these great groups that are at the ground level already doing good work and get everyone to row together. Very cool. Well, so you're welcoming Pittsburgh, and we've got Ola Pittsburgh. So, yes, Rod, what is Ola Pittsburgh all about? Well, Ola Pittsburgh, actually, uh, our mayor, before he even became mayor, we were at one of our first meetings uh, a couple of years ago. It was an initiative that was uh, spearheaded by the Pittsburgh Promise and Vibrant Pittsburgh, and that was Ola Pittsburgh 1, phase 1, and it was an effort to promote and attract Pittsburgh to uh, Latinos throughout the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, so we attended various uh, conferences, uh, places like uh, the uh, Association of Latino Professionals in Finance and Accounting, their conference in D.C., uh, Latino uh, engineers in Chicago, and several other uh, large uh, conferences uh, where we went specifically with the goal of promoting Pittsburgh talking about the opportunities in this region and trying to get folks to uh, consider us when they're looking to make a change in their career or move their families. So this new initiative that's being launched today with the, the Big El Gran Combo uh, concert as part of Jazz Live is Latin American in general, but right. really Puerto Rico specific. Well, I mean, that? if you look at, I think El Gran Combo is recognized around the world. Uh, they've been around for over 50 years. Um, so their prominence extends outside of Latin America, but they're a jewel out of Puerto Rico. And so as we thought about doing this uh, phase two of the All Up Pittsburgh Latino Attraction Initiative, we had an opportunity to bring the band here, and we thought that that could be a real good starting point for the second phase of this initiative. Also, if we look at Puerto Rico as a U.S. territory, 
unfortunately, Puerto Rico finds itself in a real significantly challenging economic environment. Uh, high unemployment, high levels of uh, government debt, and so we've seen a brain drain of uh, young professionals and professionals in general leaving Puerto Rico um, in large numbers coming to the mainland. When we did a survey, we found that um, uh, Pittsburgh is not on the, on the radar. Hmm. The surveys, uh, we found that people in Puerto Rico will move for careers, uh, and they'll move to places like Florida, New York, Chicago, um, West Virginia, I mean Virginia, I'm sorry, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, Texas, and Pittsburgh was not, and Pennsylvania was not on the radar. So this is really an opportunity to sort of uh, get, increase some more. And Mayor, I, I wonder about that issue because there's there's a lot of cities that are kind of like Pittsburgh that may not be top of mind among this population. In fact, we had a big conference of them just in town a couple of weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the Global Great Lakes Initiative. I mean, uh, it, so th this is not just a Pittsburgh issue or opportunity. It sounds like it's a broader issue in this part of the United States. Well, I think that, uh, you know, especially with Rust Belt cities, some cities are going further and doing a better job than others. I, my friend, uh, Mayor Na Nan Whaley, out in uh, Dayton, Ohio, has really put together a, a strategic plan that also involves a lot of policy ideas around it as well to try and attract uh, new residents into Dayton, especially those from around the world. Um, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Buffalo, Cleveland, we're all competing. I mean, we're in a competition for the best talent that we can find. And, you know, when I first met with Dr. Uh, Subra Suresh at Carnegie Mellon, uh, the first issue we talked about was immigration. And we talked about the importance of H-1B visa uh, reform to be able to keep some of these talented individuals that we're training and losing. In Turkey today, of the five richest people, they're all billionaires, three of them have a Carnegie Mellon degree. Hmm. Could you imagine what would happen if we kept one of them? You want to talk about building the next Google? You look at the patents that are being given to immigrants from this country as compared to those that are natives and the number of people that are creating and inventing. When we lose that and we lose it to the other parts of the country, we're becoming less, uh, we have less of ability to compete on a global level. Hmm. So it really is uh, an important concept of our entire economic development well, strategy. And it sounds like, and we all know the federal government's kind of paralyzed on this whole immigration issue. It sounds like you're thinking, we got to figure this out for ourselves. But I, you know, and I have the opportunity to talk with the White House often, and what I've asked for is give us the opportunity to have a pilot program. Hmm. Between Dr. Suresh's ends that he has through his work down in D.C., uh, and with the ability that we have with this present administration, I don't think that's too far off. Particularly as you look at the Puerto Rican market, you think Pittsburgh can make a case, or are we as good a place for them to relocate to? I would, uh, so I've been in Pittsburgh now 20 years. Uh, I love Pittsburgh, and I would put our city and region against any of these cities and regions that Puerto Ricos are leaving to, Puerto Ricans are leaving to. Uh, in terms of uh, cost of living, crime rate is an issue in mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. Crime rate, um, cost of living, education, health care, commuting. Um, you know, we, we, can, we can really compete effectively with these regions. Our job is to, to, is to make sure that we're out there promoting um, the assets that we have here and the career opportunities that exist and the entrepreneurial opportunities that exist here in Pittsburgh. All right, we got the product. Now we just got to promote it. 3 p.m. this afternoon in the Cultural District, El Gran Combo, Ron Alvarado, thank Mayor you. Bill Peduto. Thank and you I'll so much. I'll be there. You will be there. Absolutely. You will be there. We'll I'm going to be there. We'll all be there. I'll see you later today. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Yeah. Next up, creating the kind of place where newcomers and natives want to be the restoration of Mellon Square when our region's business returns.